Hi guys! So in today's video it's another special one. Me and mum are going to like another beauty show so we've decided to do another collaboration together. So before I go into what things I've used I'll just show you a picture of mum's design. She does awesome designs guys, she does acrylics as well as gels so I will leave her link in the description box. Go check her out and I would be so grateful if you could subscribe to her. Okay so these are the main items I'm using. I'll go through the Neo products first. I'm using their high speed acrylic liquid, natural beige acrylic powder, clear. And I've done this mix for myself and all it is, I wanted a white base which I used Neo's Mega White. And in this I used some glow in the dark glitter, which comes in a bag like this. And I got this from Designs by V Nail Art off Facebook. I will leave her, well, I will leave her link in the description box too. And then also in with this mix, I used this lovely sort of iridescent glitter here. It's like bigger chunks of glitter. These are the nail forms I'm using today, mainly because they are really long and I'm obviously going for longer nails. I think I got these from the Beauty UK show last time we went, but they're really good because they're really long. To start off by doing the reverse technique and I'm going to be doing the nail bed first. I'm going to go quite long with the nail bed seeing as I'm doing really long stilettos. I'm just going to encapsulate my thumb in clear and then move on to my ring finger. my pinching tool and I'm just going to dip it into some clear powder and then this just pinches the nail it makes it more slender so in other words it's less filing because I did get asked a few questions about that so yeah that's all that's for you just put it on like that and then just gently push it together What I'm going to do with this one, I haven't put it on quite as tight as the others that I've done and I'm going to sort of put this glitter for my nail bed and just feather it up my nail and then I'm going to get the clear and do it quite wide and then coming in at the bottom and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next.
now they are nicely buffed and filed I'm just going to put some gel sealer on by Neo and I really don't know what else I'm doing with them so I'm going to put this on have a think over the next couple of hours and then I'll come back to you when I know what else I'm doing Okay guys, so this is the next day because I'd really had enough by the time I'd done these and I did this last night and I'm not really struck on it, it doesn't really go with the theme I'm going for so I'm just going to file all this off and I think I know what I'm going to do now. So for my ring finger I'm going to use some of this silver chain, I got this from bornprettystore.com, I'll leave the link below as well as a 10% discount. I'm going to be putting that on with some brush on glue. And then I'm using various Swarovski crystals which I get from eBay Hong Kong. that's all nice and secure I'm just going to measure how far down I'm going to cut the chain now I'm going to get the crystals and put various ones all down the middle in between the chain all right guys that's about it they do glow in the dark, which I'm quite pleased about, so I'll take a picture of that for you as well. Please don't forget to check out my mum's channel and subscribe to her, because she does some wicked designs, and so many people say that she's got such a calming voice. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!